welcome back to session five of our Lord's Prayer series. I'm super excited to dig into today's lesson. So we're going to focus on the portion of the Lord's Prayer that says, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Many churches and communities say this line from the Lord's Prayer differently. Some churches may say, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Some might say, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And some might even say, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Each of these versions, though they're very different, they all get to the main point that Jesus was trying to make, forgiveness. Many of Jesus' listeners were poor. Living in debt was a major threat. Now, debt means that you owe something, usually money, to another person. And when a poor person has debt, they could lose their land, their home, or other important things. Debt also brought a great deal of shame to people. For the person who lived in Jesus' day, honor and shame were very, very important. Receiving shame from their community was one of the worst punishments imaginable. In Matthew's Gospels, the words debts and sins were often used interchangeably. And this brings a different understanding of sin than what we might think of today. Sin involves relationships. Because God made us for connection with God's self and with others, sin means breaking the relationship or connection. This happens through choices we made by ourselves as well as decisions made by groups and systems to which we belong. For the people in Jesus' time and us today, money and debts are one of the biggest ways we hurt other people. Because of the way our world runs, having a lot of money means having a lot of power. So, when Jesus taught his disciples to pray and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors, he was calling for a world where people weren't divided, especially by money. Jesus wanted what we call distributive justice making systems work so everyone has their fair share. One of Jesus's most powerful parables about debts and forgiveness is the story of the father with two sons. You might have heard this story called the prodigal son, but the main character we learn forgiveness from is the father, and he actually has two sons, both of whom are important for the story. In this parable, a man had two sons. One day, the younger son comes to his father and he says, I want you to give me all the money you've set aside for me because I want to leave. Now, hearing this made the father really sad, as this really wasn't something that children did. It was disrespectful to the parents and brought much shame to the family. People always thought of family first, not themselves. Even so, the father honored his son's request and gave the younger son his share. The younger son packed his bags, left, and went far, far away. He wasted all of the money his father gave him. The country he was living in had a famine. That means it didn't rain for a long time and they ran out of food. The younger son had no more money and no food. He said to himself, if I want to live, the only choice is to go back to my father. I'll tell my father that I've made a lot of bad choices, that I don't deserve to be his son anymore. I'll beg him to let me work on his farm for food. So the younger son returned to his father's house. But before he even got to the house, his father saw him and ran to him and wrapped him in a big, huge hug. He was so happy to see him. Instead of being angry or telling his son that he needed to pay him back for all the money he wasted, 
his father started planning a huge party to celebrate his return. When the older son came back to the house from working in the field and learned what happened, he was very upset. He thought it was just super unfair that his younger brother was being treated that way after he had wasted his father's money and brought shame to the family, including him. But the father tells the older son they needed to celebrate because the younger son has been restored to the family. As we see in this parable, forgiveness is about restoration. Restoration is bringing someone or something back to what or who it was before. It heals. It puts people in harmony and good relationship. It's remembering that each of us is made in God's image and that God said we are very good. Because we belong to God and one another, we owe one another our commitment and collaboration in making a just world where everyone can flourish. For that to happen, we will need to have compassion for ourselves and for each other, just as the father had for the son in our story. Relationship and connection were much more valuable than money. It's been great spending this time with you and I'm going to close us in a prayer and be sure to join us on Wednesday for our discussion. Let's pray. God of restoration, we are reminded that you are a God who forgives and calls us to be a people of forgiveness. You are a God who restores and calls us to be a people seeking reconnection with each other. You are a God who holds no debts. Help us to follow in your way of care, wholeness, and love. Amen. Go in peace.